like a bell cut. <laughs> Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? is the host of the most King Geo in the house. How you guys doing today? Well, I wanted to tell you a little bit how. This is why I don't follow um, any political party. So today, they're talking about Liz Cheney. As you know, you well know that Liz Cheney is the third most powerful Republican that, that, that um, the Republicans have. And they're looking to oust her because she spoke the truth, or at least let's say she spoke her mind. You know that she was very against the insurrection. She spoke against that. She spoke against Donald Trump's um, beliefs that, that the elections were stolen. So she uh, she spoke against the president, of uh, then president of the United States. And the funny thing is that they want to oust her for that because she's not too conservative enough, but she's more conservative than Donald Trump. And what's funny is that, this, this, just tell you, this is for both parties. Is that if you don't follow their narrative, if you don't follow what they want you to follow, and then they'll kick you out. That's like you are Jehovah Witness, and, it's, and, it, and it does happen, and you come out to the Jehovah Witness and say you're gay, they take you out of the kingdom. They, you, you're, you're, out of the, you're out of Jehovah Witnesses. You can no longer be a Jehovah Witness. You can no longer be a Jehovah Witness because you're gay. So they throw you out. So that means all the time that you spent and going to the kingdom hall, it's, for, it's to no good. And here yet, God, doesn't, God says don't judge anyone, right? And yet, they, they're the first one. So it's like that. So you're a Republican, and if you don't go what the other Republicans say, you out. Same thing with Democrats. You don't go what the what Democrats says, you out. So it goes both, it goes the same, it goes to both parties. But it's just, it's repugnant, you know. It's it, 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 it is repulsive to know that you spend so much time, whichever party you're with, and you to help other people, and because of what you because you became outspoken because you spoke what you felt. It goes to freedom of speech. You spoke what you felt. They want to oust you, and then all these Republicans go. They go with it because they they're scared of what Donald Trump might say. If you're so scared of what Donald Trump says, or you're so scared of what. Any president is going to say that you don't believe him. You don't need to be in politics because you're not for the people. Because people voted you in, not Donald Trump, not Joe Biden, not Barack Obama, not Bill Clinton. Well, maybe that's it. Let's talk about ballot wise. But the people of your state voted you in. This is in Cheyenne, um, Wyoming. They voted this woman in to become a senator. What happened? That they, they haven't had a white Cheyenne, Wyoming hasn't had a senator. In a long time, but so so here they are going against her for something that she believes in. She believes that Donald Trump did an insurrection. She believed that he committed uh, um, impeachment. I mean, he, she, he that, that he should be impeached. And she and she spoke this. So where are so why are you ousting her because she spoke her mind? So that tells you that there's no point because there are all there are all. And won the same boat. And like I said, Donald Trump didn't vote you in. None of these people voted you in. So if you're with these people, if you're going because you're afraid of what he or she says, the president of the United States, if she said, then you don't belong. In a, in a, in a, you don't need you don't belong to be in the Senate or the House of Representatives. You don't belong to you don't belong to either either party. You don't belong to be there. Because the people that chose the people of your state chose you to represent them. You know, you're not, you know, everything that's, everything that, that shine ain't gold. You're not going to be a hundred dollar bill to everybody. You know, you're not going to, everybody's not going to like your thoughts. Or everybody's not going to like your ideas, but it is what it is. You're not going to stop and say, you know what? Just because I don't believe, because I, I you know, I don't believe in that guy. I'm not going to vote for him. Or, or I'm the Senator. And I say, and I give my opinion and 10, 10, 20 people say, Oh, I don't want to be King Geo because you know he doesn't have my same belief. Hey, it is what it is. You voted me in. I'm going to fight it. So here you are. So here I am. You voted me in. I decide to do something. I I, I do the things that the people wanted me to do. But just because the president of the United States doesn't, I don't go with her agenda or with his agenda. You're gonna have the whole party say, you know, King Gio, you're not, you're not welcome here. 
I don't care. You wasn't the one that voted me in. So that means that all those people that voted for Cheney and voted her in, that means that their votes don't count. That's what it's that's what's basically telling you. Either you play with you either you play with the rule, you play by the rules, or you're out. All these people are scared of Donald Trump. Because they might they may not get elected. If you're afraid to lose your position as a senator or the House of Representatives, then you should be in politics. You should, most of these people are doctors. I mean, most of these people are lawyers. Go, go study. I mean, go do your law. I mean, go do law. Go practice your law, whether it's criminal law, business law, uh, um, malpractice law, whatever it is that you studied and you got your JD degree in, then that, that's what you stick to. Okay, because when you became a lawyer, you took an oath that you, you know, no matter guilty or not guilty, you was going to represent your client. Like I said, so you took an oath. And whether the person is guilty or not guilty, you're supposed to represent that person. Your opinion does not matter. Your oath is that. So you took that oath when you swore in a senator that you was going to help the people. Not not the party. But the people. People should, you know, conservative issues, liberal issues. I mean, you came into this world with no ideas. You're going to leave this world with no ideas because you thought you don't remember anything. But... I have your own. I have my own ideas. My mom taught me certain things, and I and I came up with my own things. You know, um, I, I I took a little bit here, took a little bit there, but at the end of the day, I do my own thing. Um, that's as I say. Like I said, I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in none of that. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in the Holy Spirit. But I don't believe in religion. Same thing. I don't believe. You know, I used to be a Democrat, and I just I said, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to do it, do it anymore. I mean, just because I was a Democrat doesn't mean I agree with everything that they did. No, I don't, because that's not the way I go. There are a lot of things I don't like what the, the Democrats do, and there's a lot of things that I like that, that I like what some Republicans do. Not all. But their mindset is like this, you know, to, to, to go and say that there was a that there was a there was an election fraud. I have so many millions of people believe this. It's crazy. When there's no evidence of it. So now they're going against Liz Cheney because she spoke her mind. Because she knows what she, we all know that there was no um, the, um, some fraud. There may be some 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 people who that, that that vote that were voted in because they they picked up some dead people who was voted in. That was a mistake for whatever reason. But that happens in every election, but not to the mass that Donald Trump has said. This doesn't mean that in so many words says I need seventy thousand votes. Where can you find me seventy thousand votes? That's a little, a little word he's telling you. You got to do something. Whatever you do. I need to have 70,000 votes. I don't care how you do it. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to be specific to you. Just say those words. I need 70,000 votes. Where am I going to find 70,000? That's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. So like I was saying, so if you're afraid of the top dog, Lindsey Graham, um, and all those kind of people, Donald Trump, whatever, then you shouldn't be in politics. Because the, you're there to serve the people. Not the party. You're there to serve the people. Yeah, you have your views and you have everything else, but this is not a group thing. This is a people thing. You're there to serve the people. If you cannot serve the people, if you're afraid of what they might do to you, then you shouldn't be a senator. You shouldn't be a republic. You shouldn't be. In, you shouldn't be in Congress at all. That's why I don't go into politics. I love politics and I love to help people out. But if I if, if I ran into politics and and I I and I ran Republican, I would never run the Republican. But if I ran you know, on my views and the views, the, my views, and 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 they tell me, hey, King Gio, or Gio, you know, you have to come up with us. You know, I mean, I can go with, I can go with you as far to say, um, okay, the party, this is what the party, this is what the people need. So I, I, I would do that. But to go and tell me, do you think that the president did the right thing, or what? You know, do you think this was an insurrection? Do you think this and that? I would tell you my mind. Yeah, I think he did that. I think he did. Um, he, um, he he did an impeachable offense because that's what he did. You know? And if they oust me, they say, "Well, you have to legal." Then it is what it is. But I'm not gonna stand down and say, "I'm gonna put my I'm not gonna put my tail between my legs and say, oh no, you know what? All oh, that it's fake. That's fake news, and the media's the media's stirring it up, and that's this never happened. My conversation with with with, with Ukraine was legit. Um, his his conversation with Ukraine was legit. Um, this is necessary. Everything he says is true. No, I can't do that because everybody's not going to agree on what the president does. But and if you agree with everything the president does, then you're a fool. Because we don't we don't all agree. We don't we all don't agree on everything, right? So 
it's kind of a shame that these people are trying to oust Liz Cheney on that. So that just tells you, just let them, just letting you know how politics works, man. Don't follow these fools. Follow your beliefs, follow what you believe in, and stop thinking about the elections were stolen because it was never watched. It never was proven that it was stolen. It was, it was not proven that it was that it was uh, um, there was fraud. His own judges, the judges that that he appointed, said that there's no proof. What more do you want? You know, Giuliani goes in front of judges with no proof, just hearsay, just thoughts of what somebody else said. Like that girl from, she said that, that, that she did the, 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 that she was an IT girl for Dominion. When Dominion, when everything was over, no one, Dominion said, you were not even an, you were an IT girl. You were cleaning the glass of the machine. That's all you were there for you. That's all you were hired to do for another menial work. And what she did say for the Congress that she was an IT girl. And people believed her. You see? Mr. Pillow guy, another guy. Another conspirator. People believe him. You know? This is a world where you need proof, not just hearsay. Not because this person said, just because Donald Trump feels that he didn't win the elections, because they didn't go out his way, he's gonna see he's gonna spew there was there was uh fraud. No, there wasn't fraud. No, there wasn't fraud. When, when George Bush and and and, and Democrat, what was his name, in two thousand, two thousand was in two thousand year two thousand, they fended off. Who was the? Uh, I got his I got his name here. Uh, Al Gore. When Al Gore and Bush went to when they when they went to, when they went head to head, they 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 were there was a difference of like. I think it was 258 votes. You're going to challenge that because that's too close. So you want to challenge it. You want to say, no, you're not saying there was a fraud. You say you want to recount because you want to find out, you know, there could have been a mistake. And, you know, both parties have a chance to choose which county they, they, they want to recount. And Al Gore didn't do a great job. He should have chosen other counties too. But it came out that George Bush had more votes than this candidate, so, so they ever turned it. It was nothing about fraud. It was just, it was so close to, to call it. So you can do that, but when you have that, you want to overturn a massive amount of t a, a, a massive amount of, of, of votes. No, because they knew they knew that Pennsylvania was going to count those people that went in first, and then they did the million votes. They knew that. Okay, Florida was. I think Florida was the first state to do the counts quick because they they put it in a system years ago. You know. And, and, and Pennsylvania wanted that same system that Florida has, but the Republican Party, which is the House of, of um, the, 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 the Senate House in Philadelphia is run by Republicans, they decided they didn't want that. They don't want that. So now, uh, um, Georgia, uh, um, Florida, and other states, they're changing the voting laws to their benefit. Okay? How can you change your law and say, it's only people that work from 9 to 5 can go and vote. A lot of people work from 9 to 5. If you look at it, most people vote after 5 o'clock. So you have to take a day off because, they, you know, you could say, or you would say, right, you would think logically, all right, you cannot vote 9 to 5. I mean, you can, you can only vote 9 for 5, but we're going to do this. We're going to make that election day vote. We're going to make that day a federal holiday, a federal day. Not holiday, a federal day. Meaning that if you're working, you're, 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 you, you have a chance to vote. You can take off that day, and you can vote. But they didn't even do that. Because they want to minimize, because they know a lot of African Americans work 9 to 5. They, they know a lot of minorities work 9 to 5. So they want to cut that chance of you voting. They want to, the, uh, the, the, the ballot boxes, they don't want to put it in certain places because they know that's going to, they know they're going to get affected. They don't want Washington, D.C. To, be, to become a state because, the same, because they had no landfill site. What, what kind of shit is that? No, because they know that the majority of Washington, D.C. residents are going to vote Democrat because the minority, they're going to vote Democrat. So they don't want to lose that. So they'll give you an excuse. But it is what it is, man. And stay, on, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to talk about Joe Biden, the thing, he's, the thing that he's doing right now that I don't like.